made are wrong decisions so the company will lose a lot of money so the main four problems they are encountering are accessibility timeliness format and integrity when we implement a new data warehouse project will help the company finding the purchases made over a period of time it will help to analyze the company different suppliers and the different products supplied by them they will be able to control their inventory in an efficient way so when they implement a new data warehouse project what are the benefits the company is going to get this project will help the company to manage their inventory which could save their wastage cost when we implement this project in this company they can manage their manpower efficiently which would reduce their cost or employee salary that will be a huge savings they can find better and good suppliers this is what known as identifying better suppliers this will reduce their cost these are the benefits a company is going to have after implementing a new data warehousing system and all the previously mentioned problems like accessibility timeliness format and integrity all those problems will be completely eliminated so when they implement a data warehouse system they are benefited with all these factors and the system will provide a reliable single integrated source of key corporate information and this data warehouse contains a modern reporting architecture so the report presented to the management will be more eye candy and it contains a lot of prediction prediction systems a lot of graphs charts animations etc so let us directly get into the basic architecture of a data warehouse this figure shows the basic architecture of a database the basic architectural components are divided into four or five different layers the first layer is the data system from where we are going to extract the data in etl process what are these legacy data systems legacy data systems maybe this can be of access microsoft access database systems this can be of databases rdbms like oracle teradata etc this can be of enterprise resource management system this can be of any crm like salesforce etc this can be of uh, any xml xml sources the legacy systems can be of any any form like structured data and unstructured data the structured data is from an rda bms access salesforce these are structured data what is unstructured data unstructured data means mainly web logs apache web logs like that your social networking like twitter facebook etc these are unstructured data and some other external sources the data may be in the form of text file excel word file pdf like that on the right hand side we can see that something called operational data store ods this is what the company previously implemented in their business so they have an ods system where the data stored is they don't know where, whether the data stored in that ods is a uh, is an accurate data or not and they are pulling reports from that system the second layer we can see that is the etl layer in this etl layer we pull the data from different legacy sources like here you can see from all these legacy sources we will be pulling data into the data warehouse by using this etl tool that we are going to study in this course informatica by using this informatica power center we will pull the data from different legacy sources and 
extract the data and move all this data into a data warehouse. Before moving data into the data warehouse, we have to clean the data. That is known as scrubbing. Scrubbing the data, cleaning the data, applying the business rules and logics that we are going to learn later. In this data warehouse, we saw different subject areas. These subject areas are often called data marts. What is a data mart? That is simply a subject area. Maybe this data mart can be of sales subject area. This can be of products. This can be of inventory, etc. When we implement a data warehouse, at first time zero, the size of the data warehouse will be zero. Suppose the total capacity of the data warehouse is 100 terabytes. At time zero, the size will be zero terabytes. But when we try to put data into the data warehouse on a daily basis, at time x, the data warehouse will be full. That is, the size will come up to 100 terabytes itself. At this time, we won't be able to put in more data into a data warehouse. Because of that, we will use an archiving system. We try to move out all the unused data. That is known as data warehouse purging, data warehouse backing up system. The data is backed up into an archiving system to RAID devices, sand drives, etc. The data is backed up. That's why we continuously monitor and administrate the data warehouse. The data in this data warehouse is used for 